In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ken. Today marks the memorial of St. Martin of Tours. Born in the 4th century, evangelised in a good part of France, and whose intercession we invoke at our Mass this morning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let pause for a wee moment to call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who were glorified in St. Martin of Tours, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Remind your people that it is their duty to be obedient to the officials and representatives of the government, to be ready to do good at every opportunity, not to go slandering other people or picking quarrels, but to be courteous and always polite to all kinds of people. Remember, there was a time when we too were ignorant disobedient and misled and enslaved by different passions and luxuries. We lived then in wickedness and ill will, hating each other and hateful ourselves. But when the kindness and love of God, our Saviour for mankind, were revealed, it was not because he was concerned with any righteous actions we might have done ourselves, it was for no reason except his own compassion that he saved us by means of the cleansing of the water of rebirth and by renewing us with the Holy Spirit, which he so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. He did this so that we should be justified by his grace to become heirs looking forward to inheriting eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters, he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Response. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. Response. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Response. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. 
In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for ever and ever. Response. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with and you. Let your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to our Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now, as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, We're not all ten made clean. The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, Stand up and go in your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Response to our prayers of intercession this morning is Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the life of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the life of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the shepherd of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us to grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. For all who are poorly in mind or body, at home, in the nursing home or in hospital, for all who are receiving treatment of one kind or another at this time, we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and St. Bernadette that Christ the Good Shepherd may strengthen, sustain and encourage all those whose health is a touch vulnerable at this time. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. For all those families, particularly in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, that God may replace their sense of loss and desolation with his very own divine comfort and consolation. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. For all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims who have died. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. We pray through the intercession of St. Martin of Tours for all who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We remember in a special way this morning 
Pavel Gluck, whose first anniversary occurs today, Johnny Gorman, Sheila Donnelly, Sarah Ann McGuigan, and Mary Jean McCoy, all of whose anniversaries occur today. We also keep in our prayers this morning Mary Duffy, late of Churchill Park, who died yesterday, and whose Requiem Mass will be celebrated tomorrow in St John the Baptist Church at 11 a.m. Mary's house and funeral are strictly private due to the ongoing pandemic. We pray God may grant these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Let us pray, Lord God. You were glorified by the life and death of St. Martin of Tours. Renew the wonders of your grace in our hearts, so that neither death nor life may separate us from your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Father. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we jointly present in honour of St. Martin of Tours, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example, by communion with them you give us companionship, by their intercession sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ the Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth the of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he, the Son of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be praised by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time
time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Bishop, and Sister Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We pray and glorify you. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. O sacrament is holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament is holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament is holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, all my trust in thee. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. And for protection today and every day. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love permits me near, ever this day be on my side, to light and guard, to rid and guide. Pray this extract from St. Patrick's breastplate as a prayer for protection from the coronavirus. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. And we also invoke the intercession of our Heavenly Mother as we pray together the memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I lay unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, simple and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despised of my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And that the shall for me. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful depart through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following the example of St. Martin of Tours, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honour and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before the final blessing, I neglected to welcome uh, Monsignor McCandley's friend of mine, Parish Priscilla de Mabari. Very welcome here to these parts, Brian, on behalf of the congregation. The Lord be with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.